Hello friends, I am Adreja. Welcome back to my study room. Today, we are going to start Class 8 Science Chapter 2 Microorganisms Friend and Foe. Okay, this is a Chapter 2 of Science Microorganisms Friend and Foe. So, what are the topics we are going to cover in this chapter? The topics are microorganisms, then useful microorganisms, how are they useful to us, and then harmful microorganisms, then food preservation and nitrogen fixation and nitrogen cycle. So we're going to cover these topics in this chapter. So before starting a chapter, we need to know what is the meaning of the name of the chapter, microorganisms, friends and foe. So what is the meaning of microorganisms? When we need to know the meaning of a scientific word, then we are going to split the words, okay? So microorganisms. We're going to split it into micro and organisms. What is the meaning of micro? Micro means very small, not only small, very small. The things we can't even see with our unaided eyes, they are that much small. So micro means very small. Okay. And organisms means any living being. I am also an organism, you are also an organism, everyone is organism. So any living being any living being is known as organism so what is the meaning of microorganism very small living beings means the living beings that are very small and we can't even see them we can't even see them with our unaided eyes those organisms are known as microorganisms or we can also tell them microbes or microbes Okay, microorganisms or microbes, very small living beings. So, if we can't see them with our unaided eyes, then how are we going to see them? We need to study them. So, we need to see them, right? What shape they are, what size they are. So, to see them, there is a device known as microscope. Okay, we can see the microorganisms through microscope. Now, the study of microorganisms is known as microbiology. The study of microorganisms is known as microbiology. And the scientists who study them are known as microbiologists. The study is microbiology and the scientists are microbiologists. Okay. Now, friend and foe means friend who is useful to us. And foe means what? Enemy. They can harm us. So that is on the useful microorganism, harmful microorganism. They can also be our friend and they can also be our enemy. So we need to learn how are they useful and how are they harmful to us. Okay. So let's start. Now we're going to learn about the types of microorganisms now. There are different types of microorganisms like bacteria, virus, fungi, protozoa, algae, etc. There are different types of microorganism okay so we need to learn about them now first let's learn about bacteria 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 is a type of microbes which vary in shape there are a lot of shapes of bacteria they can be rod shaped they can be spiral shaped or they can be spherical in shape. They can be like a sphere too. So there are different there are different types of bacteria. Okay. And then we have then we have fungi. What are fungi? Suppose if you keep a bread in a moist place, after some days you will see that there is something in the upper side of the bread, right? It is known as bread mold. It is a type of fungi only. Okay, it is a type of fungi only, bread mold. And then we also have yeast. Yeast is also a type of fungi. And fungi can be unicellular and multicellular. Means unicellular means single cell. Uni means single and cell means cell. So unicellular means single celled organism. It can be single celled also or it can be multicellular means it can be made of many cells also. So unicellular example is yeast and multicellular example is the bread mold that we see okay 
and there are a lot of fungus for example aspergillus penicillium bread mold yeast etc okay so then the next one is protozoa protozoa so protozoa is also a microorganism and it is unicellular means it is single cell and examples of protozoa are amoeba i hope you have learned about amoeba and then we have paramecium giardia etc these are the examples of protozoa okay we are going to learn where do they live after some time where do these bacteria fungi protozoa they where do they live so next algae algae so what are algae if you have seen that in many ponds there is a green layer present in it right so what is that green layer they are algae okay the green layer they are actually a microorganism okay and they are algae okay so they are, they live in water mostly right so that green layer is known as algae for example as pyrogyra chlamydomonas etc and they are one more important point is that they are photosynthetic they have chlorophyll they are green right so they have chlorophyll they can make their food on their own okay so this was algae and then we have virus virus is a very common term right now because we have covid-19 right which is also virus so what is a virus a virus is also a microorganism but it is very different from the other microorganisms why because virus can only reproduce when it comes into the host cell host cell means the cell in which they are living in they cannot live on their own if they are present outside the host cells they are they are like any non living material once they come in the host cells they can only reproduce when they come in the host cell host can be even a bacteria or it can be even a human too right so they harm the host cell when they come into the into the host cell they reproduce and they harm the host okay so viruses are very harmful we are going to learn about the harmful effects of virus in harmful microorganisms so this was the five main types of microorganism so now where do these microorganisms live microorganisms are very adaptive they can adapt to any kind of climate whether it is icy cold climate or whether it is even a, in a hot climate like desert okay they can be found in any type of climate okay so now where are fungi found fungi are found if you see um for example dark warm moist places it can grow in any place but it grows best in moist places for example bread i told you that if you keep bread in a moist place for some days then after some days you will see bread mold grows on it bread mold is a fungi so fungi grow best in dark warm and moist places and then we have algae i already told you algae grows in water right the green one that is algae so they grow best in water and virus virus cannot grow in any place it all it will always need a host cell a host to live and to reproduce okay viruses cannot grow in any place it is unlike other microbes it only it can only reproduce when it comes to a host cell okay so this was about the types of microorganisms they are bacteria fungi protozoa algae and viruses in the next video we are going to learn about useful microorganisms okay how are they useful to us in our daily life for example we are going to learn how to change milk into curd how what is the vaccine actually now vaccine is quite common right so what is vaccine and how is microorganisms useful in vaccine so we are going to learn about them in the next video so stay stay tuned for the next video and if you like this video click on like button and to stay with me please click on subscribe button thank you